Good day grade 10s, welcome to week 30. In this lesson we're going to be looking at Euclidean geometry. We're going to be using the stuff that we learned ages ago in Euclidean geometry and we're going to be applying it. So let's look at our first problem and before we do that let me get out a little pen and some color and it says ABCD as a parallelogram. So let me draw that in if I can find my pen. There it is. A B C, D is a parallelogram, right? And they say with diagonal AC, okay, it says given that AF equals HC, show that triangle AFD, they want us to show the triangle AFD is congruent to triangle CHB. Triangle CHB. So I wanted to prove that, and again, I need to get a different color out here. So there it is. Let's choose a different color. Let's choose this color. They want us to prove that this triangle, AFD, is congruent to triangle A, I mean BHC. Right. So what have we been given? We know that this side here is equal to this side. Why? Because it's been given. We also know that since this is a parallelogram, we have got this side is equal to this side because both pairs of opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. And then finally, if we look at this triangle, we've got this transversal or diagonal going across. So if I look at this angle and let this be X, do you see that I can have a Z or an N and therefore C1 is also going to be X. Isn't that nice? So therefore, we can say that we're doing A now in triangle AFD and triangle CHB. Okay, AF, AF is equal to, which order? We need to get this in the right order. So we went CHB, CH, CH, why? Because it was given. We also know that AD is equal to CB, why? Because opposite sides of a parallelogram, I'm going to write palm, are equal. Okay? And then finally, we can say angle DAF, angle DAF is equal to angle uh, BCH, BCH. Why? Because they're alternate angles because AD is parallel to BC. So therefore we've proven, therefore, triangle AFD is congruent to triangle CHB and Y. Do you see we've got side, enclosed angle, side. So we've got side, angle, side. Right, so we've done A. Awesome. Now before we look at the next one, I'm going to change color. It was a bit pale. I didn't like that. Let's try this color. DF is parallel to HB. They now want us to prove that DF, DF is parallel to HB. Now remember they always, they don't just say to you, oh, prove that the sky is blue and then prove the depth of the ocean. They always try and build on. So we have just proven that triangle AFD is congruent to triangle BHC. Okay, so if that is the case, we should be able to use this. Okay, so let's let this angle here, let's add, let angle BHC equal Y. Okay, so what we're going to do for B, I just prefer letters instead of numbers. So we're going to say let BHC, angle BHC, equal Y. Then do you agree, because this is on a straight line, because this is on a straight line, angle B, 
HF or B2, therefore angle B2 is going to be 180 degrees minus Y because it is supplementary. Okay, what I'm thinking is that if I want them to be parallel, I would ideally like this angle here to equal that angle there. So I'm trying to find a relationship between this angle and other things. So this angle now is 180 minus Y. Okay, awesome. Now, by congruency, if this is X, okay, and this side equals this side, then F1 has to also equal Y. Okay, so angle F1 equals Y. Why? Because it is proved above Y because triangle AFD is congruent to triangle CHB. Great tens. Almost more important than proving your answers is writing down the reasons. You must write down the reasons, otherwise you could be guessing. So you have to write your reasons. Okay, and now again, F2 is supplementary to F1. Therefore, we can say angle F2 is 180 my degrees minus Y which again is because it is supplementary, right, supplementary. So therefore, this is 180 degrees minus Y. And oh my word, these two are equal, but they form the alternate shape. Therefore, this line must be parallel to that line. Okay, pretty awesome. Therefore, angle, we would rather write, but angle F2 is alternate to angle, what have we got, B2, B2, therefore FD has to be parallel to B, BH, has to be parallel to BH. Okay, awesome, so we've done that. Now I'm running out of space, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to raise the top half. We don't need that anymore. We've proven that those two triangles are congruent, and we're going to use that now in the next bit, but we're probably going to be using it, but I don't need the proof anymore. And I'm going to leave the bottom bit so that we can look at what we've proven below, and then we can carry on. Okay, there we go. And now I'm going to change to a different color. So let's choose a nice bright color for a change. Let's do red. So now they're asking us to prove that DFBH is a parallelogram. So they want us to prove that DFBH is a parallelogram. Okay, so let's think about this. To prove something is a parallelogram, let's write it up here. We can either have two pairs of opposite sides are parallel or we can have two pairs of opposite sides are equal, or we can have one pair of opposite sides is equal and parallel. Okay, so if I had to try and then go and prove that both pairs of opposite sides are parallel and both pairs of opposite sides are equal, I'm going to have quite a tough job because I'm actually going to have to prove that this triangle is congruent to this triangle and it's long and it's just tedious. However, if I go for one pair of opposite sides is parallel and equal, my life is a lot easier because of the fact that I've already proven that this side here is parallel to this side. So if I can prove that this side is equal to this side, then we're sorted because then we've got one pair of opposite sides parallel and equal and we've proven that DFBH is a parallelogram. Okay, so again, like I said, they try and build onto the previous information. So they're not going to just randomly shove stuff at you. So let's have a look. They've asked us, we know that triangle AFD is congruent to triangle CHB. We know that these two triangles are congruent. 
Okay, so if that's the case, what we need to do is we need to look at this side and this side. And if AF, AF is equal to CH, CH, and CB, CB is equal to AD, then we can tell that FD is equal, FD is going to be equal to HB. HB. Why? Because of proved above by congruency. Remember the pink that I raised? Or well, the funny pinky color? Okay, that was proving that this triangle, these two triangles were congruent, so that's proved above. Okay, therefore, we have that FD is parallel, parallel and equal to HB. Therefore, we've got one pair of opposite sides that are both equal and parallel to each other. And therefore, we can say that D, F, B, H is a para Parallelogram. So grade tens, do you see that we've not only used a concept of parallelograms and knowing the different properties of parallelograms, but we've also used our congruency. And that is why I took so much time going through those videos with you where we spoke about, we proved congruency to you, and we also spoke about all the different properties of all your different shapes because we're going to use them in our Euclidean geometry. Right, grade tens, go practice and then do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a lovely day. Thank you.